idea was to combine painting with uh, movement and sound. So uh, I stage a performance that unifies the three different arts. So two musicians were playing on stage, uh, two dancers uh, were uh, making an improvised dance, and I was painting them, I was painting their dance live without knowing ahead of time what movements I will see. So over 70 minutes, I uh, started and finished uh, a big uh, painting. And the whole idea was to uh, make a very immediate uh, painting that responds in the quickest possible way to dance that unfolds in front of me. I'm here with Ilya Gefter at the studio. Hello, Ilya. Hi, Ali. I wanted to share with my friends what I see here and, uh, and to hear your story. Uh, I'm first and foremost a painter. I use the painting material to express what I see, how I see, and how I feel about what I see. So essentially my work is representational. I'm not making uh, paintings that are complete inventions. I make paintings that are based on life around me and nature around me. How do you define good art? Uh, good art is a uh, good painting is a mode of communication. It's a mode of very direct communication that bypasses words. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very intuitive and very uh, emotional way to communicate, just like music. Mm -hmm. In today's era, we have that uh, camera, telephone in our hand, we can take a beautiful picture of the sea and enlarge it. What makes painting with oil different from a photograph that uh, is also beautiful? The photograph is a record uh, of uh, what you see. Uh, but let me ask you a question. How many times uh, would you want to look at the same photograph again and again and again? over a course of one year, unless, it's, of course, it's a photograph of your daughter or your son, okay? I think uh, if the painting is successful, uh, it has something new to offer every time you look at it. So, so you can look at a successful painting of, uh, of uh, a sea or a person over and over and over again, it will speak to you each time. The artist tries to get the emotions from what the person is in front of him, right? that the photograph sometimes cannot mm -hmm. give it to you? Well, a photograph is, is, is taken by a click, uh, which takes maybe a few seconds. Painting is made over time, uh, days, hours, and even if a painting is made over a few minutes, there is a lot of human intuition and human experience that goes into it. But usually paintings take uh, quite a while, and over that uh, process, all kinds of things enter into the painting. It's not that necessarily that uh, uh, I would sit and think, okay, what emotion do I want to express? The emotions are channeled um, unconsciously into the work as the work uh, progresses. Um, there's, there, there's so much happening between the painter and the canvas while the uh, picture is being made. Uh, and a lot of a lot of the things that happen we are not even aware of. Uh, where they, they just uh, they just occur. And um, a good painting, I think, it's uh, it has more to offer than the uh, artist intended uh, to say. I know some artists paint from a picture. What, what are you thinking about taking a photograph of some place and redoing it by putting the what you see on a on a canvas? Well, the photograph is a tool, just like any other tool. Uh, well, uh, let's say if I paint a self-portrait, I uh, use a mirror. A mirror is a tool. Right. If I paint it you or somebody else, else's portrait, I can take a photograph and use that as a tool. Right. Uh, so uh, um, there's nothing wrong with that, uh, as long as uh, the painting has more to offer than the tool that was used to make it. I know you also have a you have a art school or painting school. Uh, what is the purpose of the school? Who comes to the classes? 
Uh, six years ago, I uh, opened my own art school in uh, Tel Aviv, and uh, uh, the art school is for adults. Some are uh, aspiring artists who will become great professionals in the near future. Uh, for some, it's a hobby, uh, and uh, some are somewhere in between. The uh, the uh, the uh, the search for. Uh, for uh, their discoveries in this amazing art of uh, painting. Okay, I see you have many uh, paintings of sea and water. Why, why do you focus on sea and water? What... I'm uh, fortunate to live uh, right by the sea. I love the sea, that's a part of my, uh, my life's uh, landscape. Uh, I see it uh, almost every day. And uh, whatever becomes a part of my life, I want to channel into the canvases. Uh, so um, uh, for the last year and a half, I've been working on an extended series of paintings that are all based on uh, uh, visions of the sea in different uh, conditions, um, uh, different times of day, different seasons. Um, and uh, sometimes, uh, some may, maybe maybe it can also be more than the sea. Who knows? So when we look at this picture, I see rocks, water, sand, shadows. Well, it's um, uh, it's not just uh, water and sand and rocks. It's uh, paint, and uh, I'm interested in the expressive potential of paint itself. Uh, it's uh, I think that's one of the magical things in painting that uh, paint can represent something and be itself uh, at the same time. So it's a, so it's a rock and brushwork at the same time. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's based on a uh, very uh, real beach, uh, not far from where, where I live in Jaffa. And uh, let's talk about this painting over here. Now, many of your paintings of uh, ob of sceneries mm -hmm. are like uh, cloudy. Uh, is this a style of yours? Would you say that you? Uh, I want the painting to have to have more than just the objects. Uh, I want the paintings to have an atmosphere. So the atmosphere can be more foggy, more mysterious. It can also be crisp. Why did you decide to do this composition? I'm just curious. I, th I think one of the jobs of a painter is to discover mystery absolutely anywhere. I can look at uh, a water bottle on a table and uh, be utterly excited about uh, how it looks. Or the most simple car uh, on an empty street can... Uh, can uh, express as much as a great famous building uh, somewhere in Europe. Is there any painting that is hard for you to get to let go? Let's say you attach uh, to them emotionally? Um, well, maybe this one. Why? Very hard to tell. Is it you? Yes, it's 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 uh, it's a self-portrait, but it has uh, but it uh, has no intention to look like uh, like me. So why did you connect to it so much? You look very much thinking or very not. There are what? some things that are quite better not to express in words. I understand. Behind you, I see a painting over there of a traffic light. Mm -hmm. Why did you focus on a traffic light? I find a combination of natural light and artificial light uh, in the cityscape absolutely fascinating. So it's, uh, it's the combination of uh, the most artificial of lights, like traffic lights, with uh, evening sky. Um, that's uh, something really special for me. Um, do you do it on the spot or you do it for imagination? Uh, I, made I, I make sketches on the spot, but uh, paintings of bigger scale I work on in the studio. And the painting over here, uh, the sea and the waste material, the plastics, is there a message over here? What did you uh, do this? What was the idea behind it? Hmm. 
Well, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, it's a response to uh, the uh, terribly polluted beaches that I see, unfortunately. Uh, but they're also very beautiful. But it does say a statement basically against pollution. I'm not sure that painting functions well as a statement. Um, it's a response. It's like a feeling is not a statement, uh, but it's definitely uh, a response to something. It's more, it's uh, evoked by something. So painting for me is more like a feeling, not not so much not so much a statement or a message. Now I see a baby over here, or about two years old or so. Yeah. Who is he? Uh, that's also a self-portrait. So, what does it mean to you? It's, it's based on a, an old photograph of me as a two-year-old. Um, um, I, I did a series of paintings based on uh, this one photograph. Uh, the, uh, they may or may not look like me at that age. Uh, but uh, I was uh, I was experimenting. I was experimenting with composition, with uh, with uh, uh, uses of color that uh, that were unusual for me at that time when I painted that. So when a viewer see this painting. He looks at the expression more, or at the color composition, or at everything? Everything. Everything. Uh, it's, uh, it's about memory, uh, and it's about color. It's about uh, emotion, and it's about composition. Painting is everything. Ilya Gefter. Ilya, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure.